Hey guys, what's up? So today is Thursday and I just um, cleaned up the kitchen a little bit because I am going to cook. And I'm also watching Latoya forever right now. I can't believe this girl is moving to Atlanta. She's like one of the only big YouTubers that I know in Toronto. Now she's leaving to go to the States. I guess that just means it's my time to move to the States too, but I don't really want to. I do, but I don't. I only would like to move here just because there's more opportunities. And um, like when it comes to working with brands, um, and obviously because Bay's here, but other than that, I love Toronto for their healthcare and all of that. But um, yeah, so let me just show you guys what I'm gonna be cooking today. I want to make my um, my meal, which would be more healthy. Like I want to make my chicken breast, obviously with my. I, I, I bought this new sauce. I want to try it on the chicken. Let me see if I can find it. We went grocery shopping yesterday. Um, where is the sauce that I bought for this chicken though? I don't know what, what the, where did I put this sauce? Hopefully that's good. Did I put it in here? I didn't. I cannot find this sauce for the life of me. This is not making any sense right now. Okay, it's here. So I bought this Lari's Cajun marinade. So I'm gonna marinate my chicken in this just because I don't want my chicken to be super, super boring. Um, so yeah, I just got this to season or marinate my chicken with. So the good thing about this is that it doesn't contain any high fructose corn syrup, which many of these um, bottles, like things in this bottle, they have so I looked on the back of it and it and it doesn't have any which I'm very surprised of it does have a high like it does have high sodium but whatever I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my chicken and I'm gonna make it with some baked um, baked potatoes and some of my peppers my green peppers red pepper yellow pepper and asparagus that is my go-to but for bay I'm actually thawing out the beef right now hopefully it hopefully i can finish this before he comes home so i'm thawing that out because i'm gonna make my lasagna like he loves my lasagna last time i made it for him like he ate the whole freaking the whole thing to himself literally i probably had like two slices the most so i'm gonna make that for him hopefully i can finish before he comes home hopefully can you guys believe it? Next week is my last week here and then I'm going home to Toronto. Like I'm pretty sad. I feel like time just keeps going by super fast and I feel like the year goes by super fast just because I, I'm always splitting up my time between here and at home. So pretty much I'm here for two months and then while I'm here I'm like damn I only have a month left. I only have three weeks left. I only have one week left and then it's time to go back home but then I can't wait to get back home because I miss my family and I miss my friends. But while I'm down there, I'm like, damn, I miss Brian. And now I have to wait. And then I count down the time until I see him again. So it's like, time goes by super, super, super fast. And then, yeah, planning out all my vacations and my trips and everything like that. I feel like everything is just going by so fast. Everything. <sighs> so yeah, I do have two trips coming up in May. And you guys are going to be excited about the first trip that I'm going on. And who's going to be in it. Because you guys wanted us to travel together for a minute. So... Can you comment down below and guess who it is? I don't know. But it's gonna be a, like, it's, it's a big group of people. So yeah, I don't even know which other people are coming. So we finna see. But it's gonna be, it's gonna be bomb. It's gonna be lit. So yeah, I just cleaned my brushes because I haven't cleaned them, honestly, for like over a month. And like, it's been so long that some of the product is not even coming out. But for the most part, they're clean. Like if I go like this, no brown stuff will get on it. Let's see if I do this uh yeah so yeah they're clean these are like the only brushes that i own right now well I, I i own more but i really don't see the need of having so many brushes unless you don't clean them often which i don't but like i would never travel with like thousands of brushes like how some people do and that's obviously because i'm not a makeup head but um yeah i also i also got picked up this hot sauce because i've been dying without hot sauce so i got this louisiana hot sauce it looked like the grace pepper, the one that I have at home. So I'm like, let me try this out. Hopefully it's good. I don't know. Um, comment down below if you tried that as well. So, yeah. Um, I got to film some videos as well. I want to do a night routine. And I also want to do 
I also got to film a product review on these products right here I was thinking about doing this but I feel like I'm really I got this a long time ago but I'm already late to the game and so many people already reviewed this and you know I already did two gels recently I'm gonna scrap this and I'm gonna review this tomorrow so tomorrow I'm going to be doing probably a twist out with this I haven't done a twist out in a minute and I think I'm gonna do it on like wet hair um, that way it can come out like really super defined and probably it might shrink up my hair as well but I actually posted a poll on my Instagram page and on my YouTube channel and everybody said to review this instead so that's what I'm gonna do anyways if you guys can see over here I this is a big mess I got a bunch of things from misguided which I just got yesterday and I was just like trying them on seeing what I want to bring back honestly I did not need any of this stuff if I'm being quite honest okay so quickly I'm just gonna show you guys what I got I'm not gonna try it on because I'm way too lazy but I got these joggers right here and they are so cute I did get the I get I got them in the petite section which honestly they fit way better when I buy the petite section um, when I buy from the petite section I find I find that their joggers run really really large especially if you get from like the regular section so if you're like five four or five three and under um i would definitely buy from the petite section so these fit really really good and it's like um what do you a camo print but like in a gray color and yeah they fit like right at my ankle it doesn't it's not saggy in the crotch part which most misguided joggers are um so yeah these are super cute and to kind of match that i didn't get it to match really but like i really like the prints of camera like the color i got this t-shirt i got this in a size large as well well i got sorry i got those in a size small no i got those in a size four the joggers and i got this in a size large because that's all they had left but i really like the t-shirt and i thought this would look good with like layered necklaces like layered gold necklaces just like packed on and you look like super super cool in this so yeah i got this in size large so I got this bodysuit. It was just giving me like really old school vibes or like, you know, 90s vibes. So it's just red, white, and blue. And it just looks like this. And I really like how this fits as well. Um, I got this white sweater and I thought it was different just because of the cut on it. Like it has like this big V that goes down the middle and it's just like super flattering and it's not that thick. So I can definitely wear this out here in Austin. And even when I get back home in Toronto, by the time I get home in Toronto, it's gonna be April and it should be getting warmer so hopefully it's like a leather jacket and like a sweater type of thing happening you know so I got this and I feel like when it comes to like spring and summer you cannot go wrong with white like white you just have to have multiple pieces of so that brings me to this little crop top right here I got this in a size 4 and it just says upper east side and it gave me like a sporty vibe because of the collar right here on the neck and this fits really nice as well and if you don't want something to be super super cropped um this is definitely a t-shirt for you so i do really like this i got another basic t-shirt i just don't have i feel like i don't have a lot of basic clothes like i have a lot of things that aren't basic and can't go with multiple things so that's why i was picking up like a lot of kind of basic or like pieces that can go with a lot of different things so i got this like camel beige type t-shirt which would look really good with like greens khakis brown that that type of thing so pick this up in a size four so it does fit kind of oversized and if i want to i can just like um tie it in the front which is what i've been doing lately and it looks really cute and then the last t-shirt that i got it also ties up i got this in a size medium and i'm happy that i got a size medium and i just love the saying on it so that's why i picked it up it says queens run the world so yeah this was super cute and it's like this really 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 light gray color so yeah so i picked up this night nightgown thing right here so obviously i'll just wear this around the house everybody asks me whenever i wear these type of things where i get them from i either get them for pretty little thing or misguided those are like my top two places so it's pink and it just says did somebody say brunch and i like brunch i like going to brunch so i thought this was cute and i can just like wear it in the house or like bring it on vacation and just throw this on um and i'm hoping that it's long because it's gonna go with that look that i was talking about with the layered necklaces and then clearly you can see there's a theme going on i'm kind of obsessed with army right now and if you guys know me well my friends they know that i was like anti k 
camo anti-army like back in the day i was just like ew anything army i was like no 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 but now i'm clearly obsessed so i bought these right here and i just really like the print of them they're not like the what do you call it they're not like the original like, camo print type thing and i got these also in the petite section and they fit perfect like perfect so yeah i really like these yeah that is everything that i got from misguided um sorry to try it on for you but it is what it is hey guys so i'm starting my cooking now so i'm starting with some minced garlic and i'm just heating it up in some oil oops heating it up in some oil i kind of have it on high right now and after this i'm gonna put in my beef and my onion don't tell Bay that i'm putting in onion he hates onion but he doesn't know the onion like gives everything flavor so i just like made them like kind of small i was supposed to put in yellow or white onion but i didn't pick that up so i'm just gonna use the red that i have okay so while this is cooking up a little bit i'm gonna make my uh layering piece or like the ricotta mixture so i just need some ricotta i got the light one you can get original whatever and i'm gonna use I don't know if I'm going to use one or two eggs, so we'll see. I'm going to mix that together. So obviously I'm gonna add some seasoning to this. Um, gonna add some salt. Gonna add some garlic powder. Personally, because I like things hot, I'm gonna put in a little bit of paprika. I mean, cayenne pepper, sorry. Just a little bit. Black pepper. And some oregano. Okay, so right now this is boiling up, so I'm just gonna put it on simmer and I'm waiting for the water to boil. I put some salt in it and uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna wait for it to boil before I put in my lasagna. Alright y'all, so everything is pretty much cooked. I cooked the pasta until I was like, it was still a little bit hard because we still have to put it in the oven. That is done, so now it's time to assemble. First things first, we're gonna take some olive oil spray and spray the pan. Just like that. I'm trying to wait till these cool down a little bit. I did put some olive oil in it as well. Ooh, it's hot. Um, just so it doesn't stick. Honestly guys, I need my two hands for this, so I'm just gonna do like a fast play motion, okay?
Okay, y'all, so Brian just got home. Sorry for the mess over here, but the oven's on 350. I'm gonna put this in the oven for 30 minutes, covered with aluminum foil. Okay, guys, so the lasagna's been in here for 20 minutes, covered. So now I'm going to take it out and put some cheese on it and put it back in for another 20 minutes, and it's gonna be uncovered. guys so the lasagna is finito we're just gonna let it cool down before i serve but it looks so bomb and it smells even better hey y'all what's up so today is friday it's 5 30 um not too long ago i just finished filming my video i'm actually reviewing some products that i'm really excited about um they are the the what is this again <laughs> the cream of nature moisture no, Pure Honey line. The Cream of Nature Pure Honey line. And I'm excited for this review, honestly. I'm excited to see how my hair is going to turn out. I, I'll give you guys a sneak peek. Because, you know, you guys are my my vlog peeps who keep up with everything I'm doing. So, I did do a twist out. Well, I am doing a twist out. So, this is how my hair is looking. My hair feels really, really soft and juicy right now. So I'm excited to see the results. Like I'm praying for good results because I haven't had a good twist out in a long time. So yeah, praying that my hair comes out bomb.com tomorrow. And look at my ends. My ends barely ever curl up like this on its own. And I didn't have any um, perm rods. So I'm happy that they're curling up on it on their own. Like look at this. Whoa, that never happens. Sorry. Like, literally, this never happens for me. So, I think this one right here, like this twist, I'm going to have to cut it. I feel like that's why it's not really twisting up that much. I don't know if you guys can see that, but, like, compared to the rest of my hair, it's not, like, spiral curled at the end. Like, I'm actually really impressed because this never happens for me. Wow. So, yeah, my hair feels super, super juicy. Um, Bay got home. He came home early today because he wants to go watch... What is it? Insane so badly. So we're going to go watch Insane later. I also go to Walmart because I have to pick up some makeup. I can't just stop touching my hair. But yeah, stay tuned for this review. It should be up hopefully next week sometime. I'm so mad. Shantae would kill me if this was her. These things right here, I need to cut them off. Like, what the heck? The whole time they were just sticking out. Forgive me, guys. Forgive me. That is so annoying. I'm going to cut them off, though. <laughs> I hate those things it just makes everything look so ugly and then like randomly they'll just like come sticking out sorry if you hear beeping put in food for Brian his, his lasagna He's hot. I'm vlogging right now, but he's playing Call of Duty and he has no shirt on, so I'm not gonna do that. I told him to go put a shirt on so he can vlog with me. Ring a belly top. Hmm? Ring a belly top. Am I wearing a belly top? <laughs> Your belly was showing. Uh, uh, I'm showing my belly. Call of Duty, World War II. And when he has these damn earphones on, he can't hear anything I'm saying. I definitely can't hear you. I think you should teach me how to play. I have taught you how to play. You know how to play. Burly. I get like one kill. I got Sims 4. And I made my character and I made his character. And we're so cute. I'm so excited because my sister, uh, my little sister bought this game as well. She got an Xbox. And she got Sims as well. So when I go home, I'm going to be able to make my own character as well. And my sister has her own character. And then I also got Crash. Who knows this game? If you guys don't know this game, then you guys are asleep. This is like an old school PS1 game. And now I have, it comes with all three of the, the games. So yeah, I had to get used to playing this. It was kind of tricky at first. Still is. I was like, how do I do this? How do I do that? But yeah, this this was a dope game. Baby, you want to play Sims? 
No. Why? That game is ass. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. We can pretend like we're the most perfect couple ever. What's in your mouth? What's in your mouth? Spit it out, child. Ew. There's nothing in my mouth. I seen something. <laughs> <coughs> what is in my mouth? I swear I seen something. You probably just swallowed it. Whoa, no. Anyways, y'all, I just made me some lasagna, so I'm about to eat that and start editing this vlog. So, I will see you guys. Guys, so I'm going on two trips in May. So, I'm like trying to plan out some of my outfits. And I got this orange skirt from Fashion Nova. Because I thought it would look really cute. Specifically with this bathing suit. And I think it actually is going to look really cute on. Um, I have the bottoms to it as well. If I can find them. Yeah. These are the bottoms. And they are just like a bikini body that bikini body what bikini bottom that ties up on the sides and i really like bikini bottoms that tie up on the sides and it has like the gold detailing this is from ashanti swimwear so i will link that down below you can find them on instagram as well but i thought this would look so cute and obviously i'd wear this going to the beach and then obviously when i'm going to like um lunch or something like that where you have to wear we have to cover up. I would definitely put this over. I think that would be a look right here. This this is a look. Like I can just picture an Instagram picture right now wearing this. That's a look. 